I'm going to talk briefly about a Suboxone because somebody messaged me earlier today about my experience with it. I think the biggest misconception about Suboxone is that it's a cure-all and that it's not addictive, is it addictive, and all that stuff. I really think the biggest mistake people make is they take the whole script as prescribed and what I mean is if you know anything and you probably do because that's why you're taking it that you should start out if you get the orange strips or the Zubzolves you just need to take a little piece you know but I think the biggest thing that happens is people that are addicted to pain pills are looking for a little bit extra you know boost from it and it's not really gonna do that it's gonna make you feel a little a little numb you know a little light in the loafers but uh people complain about people complain about getting off it and i think the reason why people complain about getting off it they're not really being they're not really being truthful on how they're using it they're not really telling you what they're doing because they're already ashamed that they're probably taking it and they've already put you through enough so they're you know you're just used to taking a pill or whatever when you get a little stressed out so people are going to take a little extra suboxone or an, an extra strip or whatever and i think what happens is they're not being truthful and then they try to they try to get off it and it's a little bit harder but i'll tell you kratom if you get a really good strain of kratom green or white or even red i'm telling you that's what eased you know, I got off of Suboxone. Um, I came down here to Florida. I was on Suboxone, Gabapentin, Wellbutrin, and I quit them all. And all I had was Kratom. And it wasn't, um, it wasn't the easiest thing, but it wasn't the hardest either. I mean, I went cold turkey in jail on a fucking nasty oxycodone. Um, run and um, you know I took that shit for like 10 years I would take 180 pills in a fucking and how long would a I could take 180 fucking oxycodone tens in a week nine days I could snort 90 of them in four days I'm not bragging I'm just saying I can get off it you can get off it you gotta want to do it and I'll tell you the biggest misconception and the 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 biggest recipe for failure is you thinking that you're going to do it alone. You'll never do it. I don't give a fuck who you are. Stop wasting your time. Stop fucking around. You have to go to a place. And not every rehab place and addiction specialist is going to fit you. you got to find something like a tattoo artist. You have to find someone that you gel with. You know? So it's possible. I took pain pills for 10 years. I've had two major neck surgeries I don't know if you can see that in the back I've had fucking reconstruction on my elbow I'm still sore I'm sore as fuck right now my hips are bothering me I'll tell you this is the first time I've taken an ibuprofen in two and a half years that's how much pain I'm in right now but I'll tell you Kratom I don't care what you heard you might have got the wrong strain you might have got a weak dose you might have had a fucked up dealer I'm telling you give that shit a full chance and you'll be surprised at the results I was filing for disability and I'm telling you that shit fucking mate was that shit really just changed my life I consider Kratom a fucking performance enhancing supplement that shit is so that shit is so good that and it doesn't wish I wish it got you high it just helps with the with the fucking pain if you're a person if you think you're in you're in chronic pain and you're gonna quit painkillers and not have anything it's not gonna happen so I'm giving you some advice you can hit me up on messenger um, I just felt like you know two people asked me in the last week about suboxone because I've talked about it and I just tell you don't take the full dose you have to go to counseling, you have to stop the bullshit and the stress and you might have to break up with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, you might have to quit your job, you might have to move in with your fucking mom, you might, I went to counseling three days a week 
okay? Three days a week I would sit down and talk to somebody, okay? I'm just telling you, that's what you gotta do.